Hey guys, so right now I was just going to do a quick demo of uh, showing you what it looks like to run the Bluetooth chip uh, directly to an Android. And um, I found this really cool application. I'm going to write my own application eventually, but I found a free application that allow you to query what's going through the Bluetooth port uh, if you want to set up something real quick. It's called Sena, S-E-N-A, and it's a B-term Bluetooth terminal. And what it'll basically do is just show you the output of uh, what's coming through the Bluetooth connection, just if you want to see, you know, basic output. Just like we saw in the last video when uh, I used Terminal to connect to uh, my Mac. So right now we've got a blinking green light on the blue olive part of it, which is on the right-hand side. And we have a steady green light on the left, which is the Magnolia. Now you can connect this to any... Arduino with breakouts for the FTDI portion of the of the card. So we've got uh, Bluetooth running via UART, which means basically that you're running the Bluetooth emulation to emulate the serial connection. And uh, as you guys probably know, the FTDI chip on the Arduino is what's used to emulate serial through USB. So in this case, instead of emulating serial through to USB, we're emulating serial through to Bluetooth. So uh, we're using the Roving Networks chip, which is a class uh, class one Bluetooth uh, uh, Bluetooth chip, which will do a hundred meters, I think. Yeah, yeah, hundred me. It's either a hundred meters or a hundred feet. I'll have to check into that, but it's it's pretty long. The range is pretty good. So right now, let's fire up the uh, Android, and uh, let's see here. Ah, yeah, okay. So I'm going to go back to the home screen and I'll show you how to get into here. So right now what I'm going to do is I've already paired my Android with this particular uh, this particular Bluetooth device. But what I'll show you is if you go into settings and uh, go up here into wireless and right in here make sure Bluetooth is turned on. Go into your Bluetooth settings and you should see... Blue Olive right now is one of the devices. Now the, the password is 1234 for these and you can change that uh, if you want to uh, inside your Arduino code but we're, we're not going to change that for the purpose of this demo. So right now I've already paired with it and uh, as you can see it's paired but not connected. What that means is is that the Android has seen the device, has negotiated a connection but there's no application that's act that's actually using the device yet and the blinking green light basically means that it's ready to connect with an application and when it turns a steady green that means that it's paired with an actual application so right now we're going to exit and we're going to go into this application that I got called Sina which is uh which is free on the marketplace uh, so here we are, right there. So we just launched that and it says, uh, an application on your phone is requesting permission to turn on Bluetooth. Do you want to do this? I'm going to put yes. And okay, status change to standby. All right, cool. So right now you'll see that there's just a, an okay. And it's, this is just a terminal app, so it's not going to look, you know, fancy or anything. So I'm going to go into my settings for this app, and in, in the settings area we have, uh, let's see, Bluetooth management. So I'm going to go into Bluetooth management right there, and it says here one of the things is connect to, second from the top there. So I'm going to choose, oops, connect to, and right there. I'm going to choose which, now I have a few different Bluetooth devices here, so I'm going to hit select and select the device that I want, and I'm going to start a scan so I can scan what Bluetooth device I want to connect to. So right at the very bottom is Blue Olive, so I'm going to touch that, and I've selected that particular Bluetooth device, so I'm going to connect and right there we just chose to connect to it so very shortly we'll see that the uh, the device is 
Uh, look at that, solid green. We have the initialization string starting on the device. We have the uh, blue olive there being set, and pretty shortly, we have a very rapid set of uh, data coming in. Now, that really rapid text that you're seeing in the terminal is the that's the uh, data output coming out of the Arduino in the device. So as we can see, we have a successful test where we're getting output right out of our Bluetooth chipset there through the Arduino, getting some results from the Arduino and then back out and into an Android phone. Now, of course, you don't have to use uh, this B-Term application. You can use any application you, know, you want to write. Uh, I'm going to write one and, and open source it so you guys can check it out. And uh, then, you know, you can, you can change that to whatever you want. It's actually pretty simple and easy to use uh, Android's implementation of the uh, Bluetooth socket. So I uh, hope this was informative and shoot me any questions you might have. Thanks for watching.